On this episode of the 90s Rad, I'm going to talk about my five underrated 90s Nickelodeon TV shows. Hey, how's it going? I'm Andy. Welcome back to the 90s Rad. This is a 90s show I do on my channel on Saturdays, so if you love the 90s, subscribe this way you don't miss a single episode. Now, like I said, I'm going to be talking about my five underrated Nickelodeon TV shows from the 90s. So let's just jump right into it. Coming in at number five, we have The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Now, back in the day, I feel like none of my friends were really talking about Pete and Pete. It was just like one of those shows that was on. I saw a couple episodes. I wasn't really into it. Then later on, as I grew older, I was like, wow, this is actually really, really good. And I honestly enjoy it. It's just this wacky, zany show about two brothers named Pete. And it was, it was good, just like the theme song I always thought it was really catchy. If you haven't heard it, you should definitely look it up. It is, it's great. It is just a really good theme song. And also was filmed in New Jersey, which is awesome because I've been to New Jersey a billion times and one of the malls in the show I've actually been to. So it's, I don't know, it's just really cool. Like I said, it's just a zany adventure of two brothers named Pete. And it's their adventure, I just said that. But it's a really good show if you haven't seen it. I highly recommend you check it out. Number two is actually a game show. Now when you think of game shows from the 90s on Nickelodeon, you think of shows like Double Dare, Figure It Out, and Legends of the Hidden Temple, which is great. But Nickelodeon actually had a lot of game shows, one of them being Get the Picture. Now Get the Picture featured two teams battling it out answering trivia questions and doing small games in order to gain opportunity to guess a picture that's on this ginormous screen and they just battle out for prizes. Now it's very similar to kind of like what Nick Arcade was, just a little bit different. It's you know, with pictures, obviously. Uh, I just always remember this being really fun to watch and I wanted to be on it, but I also wanted to be on every single Nickelodeon game show ever. so. It's just one of the ones that people don't really talk about. It was also hosted by Michael Malley, who hosted Guts and Global Guts and all that stuff. So it's actually really cool and really fun. It's just not a lot of people talk about it. And I, I don't know, it's just one of the game shows I always enjoyed watching. Coming in at number three is Kablam. Now, if you don't recognize the name Kablam, you probably recognize some of the shows, which we'll get into in a little bit. Now, Kablam was a sketch comedy show on Nickelodeon, kind of like all that in a way, but it was different and focused more on animation, and it was actually really cool. I don't know why I spaced that out, but no, it was really cool. Now, like I said, you might recognize some of the shows from Kablam, like Action League Now, Prometheus and Bob, Angela and Anaconda. Which, I'm not a big fan of Angela Anaconda, but that's for a separate video. Now, the hosts for Kablam were actually animated. It was Henry and June. Lola, stop digging. It was just one of those shows that I had a blast watching, especially Action Leak Now and uh, I keep wanting to say Phineas. It's not Phineas. Prometheus and Bob were just great. And if you haven't seen Action Leak Now, do yourself a favor, watch clips of it on YouTube. It is great. It's like a superhero show done with action figures and it's like a parody. It's amazing. Bye -bye. Number two on this list is Oh Yeah Cartoons. Now Oh Yeah Cartoons featured animated shorts and it just highlight some smaller animators and creators of cartoons and just kind of help them. Now in season two the show was actually hosted by None other than Keenan Thompson, which is actually pretty awesome. Who, if you don't know who that is, he was in All That and Keenan and Kel, Good Burger. He's been in a bunch of stuff. He's hilarious and he hosted this. Now, there's two pretty big cartoons that actually came out of Oh Yeah Cartoons. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't, but Chalk Zone and Fairly Odd Parents. They all started on Oh Yeah Cartoon, they got popular enough and they became their own shows, which is awesome because they were great. Chalk Zone, I feel like, is pretty underrated as well, but Fairly Odd Parents was massive. Now before I get to number one, I just want to give a couple honorable mentions. The first one goes to Roundhouse, which is kind of like all that, it was just a little different. 
they didn't always do comedy and it was pretty good it has a really awesome theme song you should check out honorable mention number two is gonna be skate tv this is one of those shows i feel like if you weren't really a skater you probably didn't watch it but i was always a skater so i kind of watched it uh it was actually hosted by matthew lillard of all people which is pretty cool and i don't know since all my friends pretty much skated we all just kind of watched that and the last honorable mention goes to the secret world of alex mack now i feel like this is again one of those shows that people know about but they don't really talk about it's it's a great show i have a whole series on dvd and it's great if you haven't seen it you should definitely see it and there's sirens Coming in at number one is Salute Your Shorts. Again, this is one of those shows I feel like nobody ever talks about. And I remember watching it and I used to love it. It used to be one of my favorite Nickelodeon shows of all time. And it's still really good. So you got some campers at Camp Onawana, which is fun, <laughs> just fun name to say. It was just goofy. It was them, teenage campers, just dealing with their bossy counselors and just dealing with pranks and just life. And it was great. I loved it. I thought it was funny. And it was, I don't know. It was just, it was great. I'm, I'm really bad at this. And it did have the dude from Terminator 2. Not the main dude, but his friend with the, the red head and the, the, the mullet. I don't know his name. But I just remember that show being good. It was funny. And I just really enjoyed it. Again, it's just one of those shows that no one really talks about. Well, guys, that's my list for five underrated Nickelodeon TV shows from the 90s. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with me or what are your picks for underrated TV shows from Nickelodeon in the 90s? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, link down below is my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Patreon. It's be as awesome as Dana Smith. I don't know what I'm doing. But she helps support my channel. You can too. With that being said, you guys rock. Stay rad. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.